Welcome to Team MH. I am Professor Sabina Sheikh. Today we are going to learn about models of communication. Before we initiate the lecture, first we should understand what is model of communication. Models of communication are simple and systematic representation of the communication process, ideas, thoughts or concept. This helps us to understand how communication can be carried out. To put this in simple words, communication model will help you all to understand and it will help all of us to understand how we are supposed to put forward our queries, put forward our suggestions or any communication in your personal and even in the professional life. Basically, we are going to learn this from organizational perspective, but we should not forget this. This the study will also help you to be a better communicator in your personal life also. So talking about models of communication students, there are basically three types of communication as in three models of communication. First is your linear communication, second interactive communication and third is transactional communication. So we are going to learn one by one all the three models of communication. Today this lecture will focus on linear communication. So in linear communication what happens is there is a sender of the message. He is a source who is the messenger or who wants to send a message. Now what he does is he sends a message via a channel. Okay. He is sending a message via a channel and never to forget that there is also a noise around. Now this noise can be of anything. This noise can be of group of people chatting near you or the noise of uh, the people who are surrounded by you. Noise of the uh, technical noise or any noise. It can be any noise which is there near you. Okay. And channel could be anything. WhatsApp, Instagram, email, whatever. Source is a person who is sending a message as in source is the sender of the message. Okay. He is the sender of the message. Okay. Now he is sending a message and this is the receiver. All right. Now he is sending a message to the receiver. Now this goes without saying that when a sender is sending a message to the receiver, he is expecting him to revert okay but in linear communication what happens is the sender is sending a message to the receiver but the receiver is not replying to the message okay this linear communication is one way communication okay this linear communication is a one way communication okay that means that the sender is sending a message to the receiver but the receiver is not decoding the message okay he is just listening to the message now a uh, example a uh, perfect example or a nice example a suitable example can be television okay when you are sitting in front of your television you are watching web series you are watching serial you are watching news whatever do you have you ever noticed that the tv is again speaking to you people no okay this means that we are watching tv okay we want to watch tv for xyz reason but on the other hand the tv is not replying to us okay this is nothing but the tv example is a good example to understand what is one way communication i hope this is clear students now further we'll understand the Features of linear communication model. Okay. Features of linear model. First feature is it's a one way communication. I have just explained to you previously. Sender sends a message in linear model. On the other hand receiver just receives the message. In this feature also you can see clearly that the receiver is not responding for now. There is no feedback in the entire process. Alright, there is no feedback in the entire process. It is just the sender who is sending the message but the receiver is not replying. Okay, he is not reverting to the messages. These are the few features of linear model. Last feature is there is a presence of noise. Of course, there is a presence of noise. Okay, when the sender is sending the message, there are multiple 
distraction which takes place so that can be considered as a noise so students i have hope that you have you all have liked the lecture and stay tuned for next model of communication okay thank you so much bye